Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and put those Holy Ghost hands together and praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I said hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. That's okay if I said praise me, but let's praise the Lord on this morning. God is good, and he's greatly to be praised. Before I take it back, I'll add some more to it. He's a good, good God. He's a good, good father. When I woke up this morning, Maria, I got up on my own. Or did God get me up? I shall I say. When I woke up this morning, I had the activities of my limbs. The voice to speak of his goodness. I didn't have to roll on the floor to try to get myself up. But I thank God for the breath of Zoe he breathed into me on today. And when he called my name, no matter how many hours of sleep I got, I heard him when he called my name. It wasn't the alarm clock. No. But it was my God. Yeah. Yep. He's a good, good yeah. father. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. And I love him on today. God, we want to tell you thank you. Yeah. We come give on. you praise, we give Jesus. you glory, and we yes. give you honor. My God, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way in this place. Yes, Lord Jesus. Do what you do best, God. Show up and show out. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. Because it's because of your mercies we are not consumed. We thank you when we woke up this morning. Your mercies were new to us. We were not riding on yesterday's mercy. You're such a good, good God. And we thank you, dear Heavenly Father. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. You're our El Shaddai God. You are simply more than enough. You're our Alpha and our Omega. You're our beginning and our ending. Yes. We thank you because you're our Jehovah Jireh. Yes. You are our provider. Yes. You're our Jehovah Nisi. Jesus. And God, we thank you for being our Jehovah Shalom. That peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. That keeps our hearts and our minds stayed on you. God, we ask how I say, God, I feel you in my sanctified soul. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you for meeting us here. Yes, yes. Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity, Father, to meet in God, we thank you. We don't have any robbery, God. We just tell you thank you. You went so, so good to us. You blood block that thing we never even seen coming. And we want to tell you thank you. Us, thank you. From all her harm and danger, seen and thank unseen. You. you blocked the accident even when we didn't see it coming. My God, we God. thank you. My God, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. Yes, God. You're my Prince of Peace. Yeah. You're my everlasting yes, Father. Lord. Yeah. You're my Abba Father. I'm a daddy's girl. Yes. I thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. For who you are. Yes, God. To me, God. Yes, God. Have your way in this service of yes. me, God. Yes. Yes. In your matchless name. My God. My God. Amen. Amen. Listen. God is a good God. He's an awesome God. He's a miraculous God. I don't know about you, but I thank God for being in his presence today, Ezekiel. I thank God for being in his presence. Young lady, I thank him for being in his presence. Pastor, I thank him for being in his presence. Someone comes to church and don't know what he feels like, prophetess. True. They don't know who he is. They haven't had an experience with him. But I thank him. Thank him when he called my name. I heard him. I thank him. I ain't gonna tell y'all that he saved me from a miserable life of sin because everything Maria I did in the world, I enjoyed that thing. Everything. It don't matter what it was, I enjoyed. He did not save me from a miserable life of sin. I enjoyed everything. 
But when I made my mind up Jesus. to serve God, I decided to serve him just like I served the world, Ezekiel. When I was smoking my blunt, when I smoking my weed, I decided when I came on this side, I will give him everything I got. Come on, everything. Oh, yeah. my God. Jesus, my God, my God. My weed and my Christian oh, brothers. Come on, weed. Hey, Shabbat said. But when he saved me, my son. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Come on. Jesus. I had a well made up mind Jesus. that I wanted to serve God with my whole heart. My God, my God. My whole being. Come on. And what's the topic? A sure foundation. Yes. I thought the foundation was sure back then. Nope. Shame. But it gave way. It had some cracks in the foundation. It even collapsed on me when I put my faith and thought the foundation was in a human being. My God. Let me down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My God. It opened up. And I fell through so many yes, times, yes. Ezekiel. I fell so many times. Because my foundation was people. My foundation was stuff. Yes. My foundation was things. Yes. That foundation crumbled. Every building got a cheap cornerstone. Some people are able to recognize it and some people can't. It's a corner of a building. In the bricks, you may not even know what it is. It's a critical part of the building. You might think it's just a picture or a mosaic or you might think it's an art that looks good. But it's the cheap cornerstone that is holding the building and the foundation. Up. My God. Jesus. I gotta, I gotta skip. Let, uh, Pastor Eric, let me tell you, this week in our fast, you and your wife was in my spirit. I began to pray because I want y'all to be blessed. And as big as your heart is. You know, sometimes when our hearts are big, Pastor, them, they, those are the ones that get taken advantage of sometimes. Yep. Sometimes people can look at us, Minister Ernie, and think we got it all, and we got it all together. But God said, and I know this sounds this sounds crazy. Flow, flow. Because you know why? Y'all open y'all doors to me. But God said, he getting ready to give y'all just what you asked for and some more because you opened it up to the house of love. I know people can say, the prophetess is off. It's okay for y'all Facebook to think that I'm off because God didn't tell you, he told me. God said he's bringing some loose ends together. God said he's bringing a balance. God said, when you go back to school this time, it's going to be easier than you thought. Jesus. It's going to be easier than you thought. Don't matter what the outside look like. God said, he's building up the finances. And I asked God to go into you all. So I was sitting on the side of my bed and I could, I could see you looking in a mirror and I could see you I can see your wife sitting like in a night of front room or something and she was sitting there. But I heard, I asked God, I said, God, go into that home. I, I, I didn't ask for this gift, y'all. He gave it to me. And I asked him to go into your homes and talk to the bottom, the front to the back, and saturate it with his anointing, his love, his power, and overflow. And overflow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pastor, when God put you in my spirit, I see, I don't know. Y'all y'all know who the road runner is? Yeah. You ever see the road? You know the road. Hey, listen, I know we're about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the road runner. You. God said he going to settle some things for you. Thank you. Thank you. He's going to settle some things for you. Sometimes when you sleep 
keep the phone ringing. You, God said he's going to settle some things for you. Jesus. And he's yes. going to make it easy. Yes. And he's going to make it nice. Yes. He's going to make it light. And that very thing that you all created, God said, it ain't going to be a burden, but it's going to be an overflow. It's going to be revenue. Jesus. Thank you. My Thank you. Yes, Lord Jesus. If I took the jacket off, y'all will see all these goosebumps all over me. Because I feel God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. He let him use it, Pastor. You are poured out into so many people. And a lot of times you don't get back what you have poured out. Mentally, physically, financially, everything. Sometimes people don't even know the sleep that you all lose because you are laid up because of somebody else. And God said he's going to make your way light. He's going to send you help, Pastor. Jesus. Because I ask for the same help for you that I ask for my pastor. That might be my son. That might be my daughter-in-law. But the same help I ask for us, I ask for you too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. Yes. Foundation. You know what a short foundation is? Somebody you can depend on to open the doors. Somebody you can depend on to operate the sound system. Somebody you can depend on to play the keyboard. Somebody you can depend on to do the Facebook Live. Somebody, you got people sitting on gifts that won't even use them. That's part of the foundation. And I ask God to make this foundation sweet. Jesus. For us. That's what I ask. And guess what, prophetess? Jesus. I'm a daddy's girl. I know he's going to do it. Amen. <laughs> I know he's going to do it. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be that many days. He's going to do it. Amen. Because he told me he was. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As I was putting my message together, God gave me something really, really. And I. And I know Pastor don't like me to say this, but I know I'm not going to be up here long because I know what he, I know what he, I know what he's saying to me. Mm -mm. Jesus. You know what my topic is today? Get your foundation right. Get your foundation right. Get your foundation right. Get your foundation right. We're talking about a sure foundation. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna start off with this. My daughter Love is a skilled, licensed cosmetologist and makeup artist, right? I don't know very much about it, but I know I didn't <laughs> Maria I didn't test it some. I, I don't wear much of it, but I didn't test it some. Some made me look ghostly. <laughs> some made me look too dark. And in order for you to have the, for us females, because you got men that wear foundation, they, they do it in, in Hollywood for whatever reason, right? I know some people have seen their, that, no, some people have seen their girlfriends or their friends and say, uh, that ain't your toe. <laughs> that ain't, that's not your color, right? A skilled makeup artist or cosmetologist will tell you before you go purchase a foundation some things that you must know that is critical and that that is knowing about your skin you got to know if your skin is oily i know y'all saying when you go with this pastor friend but i've got i've got a foundation here you got to know if your skin is oily you got to know if your skin is dry you got to know if you got a combination between the two and you gotta study your skin tone. The skin tone is the color of the surface of someone's skin. So you will know what type of foundation that you need to build everything else up on. It's the same as a, a builder. You got to have a blueprint. You have to have a found, you got to have a vision first. You gotta have a blueprint. And you got to have staff and professional builders, right? Because even though you have in your mind what home you want to build, the foundation got to be right. Yeah. 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 I don't 
care if you want a three-story. I don't care if you want a five-story. I don't care if you want a 20,000 acre. It don't matter. I don't care how good the blueprint looks. I don't care what your idea. I don't care what it is. If the foundation is not right, it ain't going to hold your vision. been with my daughter in love when she did several people's makeup and business people ask you pastor I, I, I had the pleasure when we were going to be coming to this place and I had the pleasure of sitting between pastor and uh, past, my pastor pastor Matt and uh, pastor Eric and they were talking about the business right and they were laying the foundation the do's the don'ts Basically, the foundations are the do's and don'ts. What you yeah. can do, what you can't do, what's expected. Yeah. And it's the same thing if you're building a house. That's my grand prince. <laughs> it's the same thing. But I had the opportunity to be with my daughter in love when she does people makeup. And she'll ask them. Now, it doesn't matter what they want. She's going to ask them what they want. Because she didn't already look at the skin. She didn't already was able to tell what type of skin they have. But now what she wants to know what you're looking for. That's just like a builder. No matter what your vision is, they're going to ask you what you're looking for. What are you looking to do on this land? Hmm? So while she's doing that, I, I know, her very, know her very well. So while she's doing that, she's hearing them. So now she's over here. While she's listening, she's getting her little brushes together. In her mind, she's trying to figure out which eyeliner she's going to use. She's going to let them pick the eyelashes. If they want long, extra long, if they want short, she's going to ask them. And, and while they're talking, she's going to... Y'all got to know this one. So she's going to she gonna make her stance. She gonna, that ain't going to look right. That ain't going to look right. What is a builder going to tell you when you want this big thing, but your land and your foundation is that? What is your builder going to tell you? Oh it's, good. it's not good. Right? So she's going to take that, her nose is going to go up like this, and don't she listening to you? And she, it ain't going to work. And she said, now, in the back of her mind, because the, the customer has said, this is what I want, right? We're still talking about the foundation. Hello, Grand Prince. Go sit down. And in the foundation, guess what happens? The builder is now saying, well, if this is what you want, there's two things that's going to happen. Either they're going to have to change or they're going to have to get a new builder. Because when your name is on the line, you just not gonna do anything. That's right, that's right, that's right. When her name is on the line, that's good. She ain't gonna just give you what you ask it for that's not gonna look right. Right. Come on. Right. Because she's building that foundation. That's right, that's right. It might be what they want. It might be what they want. But after it's done, the foundation has been laid. Now the people are looking at, is that Moxlin's work? Uh, is that Pastor Eric's work? Uh, is that Pastor Matt's work? Teach it, teach it, because teach it. they wanted it, you can't shrug your shoulders and say, well, that's what they wanted. Oh, because when the inspectors come, they're going to say, who was the bill? Jesus! Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Yes, so yeah. all the time, it doesn't matter yeah. what the customer work wants, no matter how you got if the foundation is not good if the foundation is not going to stand it's not going to work and i won't put my stamp of approval Come on. Right. Yeah. as much as she might be in the front of someone she might not necessarily need the money she might want the money whatever the case may be i can't do that this is what I, this is what i can do because now your name is on the line right Jesus' name is on the line when you choose him as your firm and sure foundation. All right, Jesus. This shall I say. Jesus. So now, here we go. 
Your foundation is the most important part of any project or anything that you do. Yes. Everything to do with building a home or putting makeup on starts with the foundation. Any mistakes you make in the foundation, things will get worse as you go. Yeah. No matter how you try to clean it up. Can you cover yes, up sir. mistakes? This is real good. This is real good. Yep. Don't do it. No matter how. Jesus. Because the foundation minister needs. Jesus. It ain't sure. It ain't stable. So any mistake you make in the foundation. Things are going to get worse no matter how wonderful and unique your blueprints, your designs, and your thoughts, and your ideas are. Get your foundation right. This is good. This is good. Because why? The land, the foundation is what you're building on. A strong foundation is the right foundation. Yes. We as children of God should possess and practice wisdom on every hand, at every cost, yes. at all times. Yes. yes. We should not be building our foundation on money, on friends, on yes. jobs, on cars, on relationships. Nope. That Thanks. foundation is not sure. That's right. And it's, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. I promise you, it'll start off looking good. But it's a crack in that foundation somewhere. And anytime it's a crack, the crack gets built bigger. You know why the crack gets builder, a bigger? Because you're walking on it or you're utilizing it. That's just like if you built someone, to, I went to look for a place. When I was looking for a place, the Lord told me, he said, make sure you look good. And I said, well, Lord, you got to tell me what make, you know, make sure I look good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to be specific. You got to ask him questions. You can't look good. So am I looking at the floor? Am I looking at the walls? He said, check out the foundation. So as I was going in, the place was beautiful. I said, yeah, oh, yeah, I can, I can do this right here by the water and everything. Yeah, I can do this. And as I went in the bedroom, I noticed a line, and he said, oh, that's just a we, we can paint over that. Trying to cover up the foundation. So I seen it, so I looked, because see, I, I got a whole lot of brothers. That's all they do is build, build everything. And my mom always taught us, it takes less time to do a thing right than to explain yeah. why you did it. Oh you went into to that home and you seen the crack. It takes less time and no matter how good it looked. So I followed that crack on into the front room and it was all the way over to the kitchen. I said, no, I said, this is beautiful. He said, we'll knock it down. Why, why are you going to knock your price down if it's good? If your foundation is good, everything is good about it, you knocking it down for what reason? Because you're just trying to get somebody in there. Once you are in there, no matter what the foundation looks You're like, no matter what, you are responsible for everything. It might look good, it may, they may even paint over. And I'm going to tell you, a good a person with a good eye, you can see when somebody done painted over something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. No matter if it's a crack, no matter if they done sanded that wall, uh -huh. that little area, uh -huh. and then painted over it, no matter what they do, you can tell mm. when the foundation is not sure. Perception. If the house of our lives is built on the foundation of Jesus, the storms and trials we face will, will not destroy and it will not fall. Jesus plainly lays out, I went right on over my scriptures, Matthew 7, 24 through 27. I have the English Standard Version and I have the Amplified Version. But I think I'm going to read for the sake because I'm almost done. Amplified. So everyone who hears the word of mine and acts on them will be like a wise, a far-sighted, practical, and sensible man who built his house on a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods, and the torrents came, and the winds blew and slammed against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Yep, that's true. 
And everyone who hears the word, these words of mine, who was speaking in here? Who was speaking, Ezekiel? Who was speaking? Who was speaking? Jesus was speaking. He said, everyone who hears the words of mine does and does not do them will be like a foolish, stupid man who built his house on sand. <laughs> and the rain fell and the floods. You hear me, Facebook? And the rain fell, and the floods and the torrents came, and the winds blew and slammed against the house, and it fell. And a great and complete was its fall. That means everything around it failed. Because the foundation wasn't sure. What was the main thing that stood out in this scripture? The word and doing. Everybody heard the word, uh -huh. but everybody didn't do the same thing. Uh -huh. Somebody take this jacket. I'm having a hot flash. Everybody heard the word, right? Everybody heard the word. But guess what, woman of God? Everybody's actions weren't the same. Is that right, Pastor? Everybody heard the word. That was the main thing. But everybody did not do the same thing. When you hear the word of God, when God talks to you, what are you doing with the word that he has given you? A foundation based on God produces steadfast faith and a life that allows us to be living examples to others. There it is. Dig your spiritual foundation deep, develop deep faith, and guess what? You have a sure foundation. Building a sure spiritual foundation means investing, inspecting, and assuring the foundation is maintained at all costs. Uh -huh. And God's given us the instructions to do this. My, my, my. Investing in your foundation. Teachers. It just simply means it's investing in the word of God. Something that is sure. Something that won't crumble. Jesus and the word of God. Read the word and apply it to our daily lives. Inspect your spiritual foundation. What does that mean? Inspect it. That means you shouldn't be buckling under pressure. Uh -huh. Sometimes the people in the world handle things much better, Pastor, yes. than the people of God. Those that have called have been called by God. Those that have said, I'm Holy Ghost filled, sanctified, and I'm standing on God's word. I'm gonna give the first wind. Uh-huh. You don't see them. They done went in hibernation. No they got the covers over their head. They depressed. They down and out. They said, don't say nothing to me. We talking about the people of God. Inspect your foundation. Are you buckling under pressure? He's the same God that gave you the money. He's the same God that brought you out. So if you're in need, the same God is going to bring you out again. Yes, sir. Good. Trust your foundation. My God, trust your foundation. Have faith in God. Have faith in his word. And a lot of times, Pastor God can't bring the word back to us because we ain't read it. You want him to bring something to your remembrance and you ain't read it. That's just like me being in school now. And I want to, I want to, I just, Lord, help me with this. You got to read, Francis Lenora Johnson. Read. That's the foundation. Lay in the foundation. And sometimes that may be give you an offering. <laughs> My God, the answer is in the book. But we are a lazy people, Pastor. Because listen, I, I I'm a Bible saved person. Listen, I'm a paper Bible. Paper Bible saved. Paper Bible. Saved. Paper Bible. You hear me? Paper Bible. <laughs> But the world has made it so easy. All you need, minister, you need is an app on your phone and you can read the Bible. And the 
people still they won't, won't do it. They won't do it. Right. You listen to it. Right. People complained about coming to the church house, coming out to the church, but God made a way. He allowed COVID to come, and all you had to do was get online, and people still wouldn't get online. Then they complained about coming back, and just still wouldn't come back. Then they said they don't want to come back. They want to wear their mask and everything. But I see the same people in the grocery store without a mask, but we won't go there. But anyway, <laughs> learning to obey God is part of building a sure and a stable foundation. Build on Christ and not people and their connections. Uh -huh. They will let you down every time. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, every time. If our hearts truly belong to God, you will seek Him, His Word, the foundation, and make an impact in the world. Yes, That's what it's about. Yeah. We should be steadfast and unmovable, just like our foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. To be immovable is to be unyielding. And it's capable of being moved no matter what comes our way, prophetess. No matter what it feels like, no matter what the job is saying. You think I wanted to leave Cleveland Clinic after 17 years? I felt that was a sure foundation. Yes, when I woke up on that, that, that consecration day, that 20th day, and the Lord said, I want you. He said, you trust me? He always, he always give us the opportunity. He said, you trust? I said, Lord, you know I trust you. Uh -huh. And I even got, I said, how about that? God, you know I trust you. He said, Rex, resign. I said, hold on, pump your brakes, Lord. Wait a minute now. Hold uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. Wait, Lord. I know you, some of y'all, even in Facebook, I know you say, is she talking to the Lord like that? See, I have a relationship yeah, with him. You have a relationship. You got to have a relationship with God. And then you can talk to him because he'll talk right back to you. I said, hold up, Lord. I said, I've been here 17 years. It was my, I was uh, like on, on, you know, retire and, you know, and, and everything. You know, I got a grandbaby and I, I want to do grandma duties and stuff like that. I mean, what? Lord? He said, do you trust me? I said, yes, Lord. He said, but you're too weak. And I went to work. I tossed and turned. I tossed and turned in that uh -huh. seat. I walked the floor. I got coffee and everything. But God, I was supposed to be on the fast and everything. I'm like, <laughs> Wait a minute, Lord. But he allowed, he turned up the heat. He turned up the heat. Uh, and when he turned up the heat, and what happens when you turn up the heat? When you lay the foundation, it's going to let you know if it's going to stand the testing of the time. Yeah. Whether it's rain or snow or wind, hurricanes or whatever it is. He turned up the heat. When he turned up that heat, Maria... Uh, he didn't have to say no. What I tell you, I'm talking about. The, it, I'm talking about everything that could happen at that job, including my boss. When I tell you everything, I said, "Oh, okay." I went in that computer and put it right on, and I said, "Lord," I said, "I said this is too much," and I walked out. And while I was walking out of the building, my phone rang. And when my phone rang, it was someone that I knew. They said, "I have a job. I have a job offer for you, and you can work from home." And I promise you, you'll be making much more than what you're making. Look at that. Look, 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 look at Obedience. Obedience. But how close, woman of God, did I almost Obedience. miss it? Uh -huh. Because I'm looking at retiring from Cleveland Clinic. Mm -hmm. He said, that's what you want to do. Uh -huh. Because God never looks at what's going on and happening now. He sees the future. That's what he sees. My God, my God. <laughs> We have to learn to trust God in, with the small stuff. Y'all pardon him because it's been all morning. <laughs> we have to learn to trust God with the small stuff. When we do, we will find it easier to trust God for the big stuff. Yes. The word of God is the key to everything. God is speaking to us all. Before we can build anything... Before we can build anything, before we can build anything, uh -huh. God must be our sure foundation. You know what that means? You shouldn't have a doubt that you want God to be that foundation. No doubt. That foundation is not going to buckle. 
that foundation, what we, women know when you put them heels on it, it might not be that day for them heels and your, your ankles going like this. Uh -huh. Everything, you hit the wrong foundation, you hit a crack in one of these, that's it, you going down. Be like Mary J, I'm going down, and that's going to be it. That'd be all she wrote. But a sure foundation is trusting and believing in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He got a good track record. He ain't never let us down, Pastor. Never, Pastor. Pastor Matt, he ain't never, never. let us down. Never. I don't care how dim it look. I don't care how dark it look. I don't care what people say it is. I don't care what you don't have. I don't care what you do have. God's foundation is sure. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Very present. And one thing he promised to me, and he promised to all those that read his word and have a connection, he said, I would never leave you. Uh huh. And he said, I would never forsake you. That's what he said. He said, I would never leave you, and I would never, ever forsake you. That's what he's saying. So inspect and build on a sure foundation. Your natural life, your spiritual life, everything is going to fall in order. So get your foundation right. If your foundation is not right and not stable, Facebook Live, this is the time, this is the day that you can get your foundation stable in God. We forget the word of God when the word of God says, I would rather that you be hot or cold. Am I making up the word or is that the word? That's the word. Hot or cold. Because if you look warm, which means you got one foot in the world and one in the church, he going to spew you out. He ain't never known you. That's right. Choose ye this day, this day. who you will serve. This day. If you going to serve God, serve God with your whole heart and serve him with everything you got. But if you're not, you serve the devil with all you got. I told y'all, you ain't saved me from no miserable life. But see, honey, when they was at party, I was the peeing party. I was ready. Yeah. I was ready. I think that's why I can't keep no beat now. But make sure you build on the sure, firm, and solid foundation of Christ. And it begins with accepting him. And then you must, you must, you must dive into the word of God. God bless you, woman of God. You must eat the word. You must sleep the word. You got to do it. Ezekiel, you're not going to make it. If you don't get in that word like you should. No prophet, you ain't gonna do, you ain't gonna make it if you don't get into the word like you should. We can't get in the Pastor, we can't get if we gotta preach today, we can't get in the word the night before or that morning. Because can I tell you, everybody know that foundation is unstable. Yes, you go twisting up scriptures and everything else. So we have got to be intentional about our foundation. Just like the makeup we put on our face. With that foundation is laid, I told you. My daughter loves she laid that foundation. She look and listen, either it's gonna be or it's not gonna be. So if I'm gonna be in God, that means his name is on it. That means my name is on it. And Pastor always tell us we need to make God look good in our bad situations. Uh. It's easy for us if we got money in our pocket, the job is good, the home is good, nothing is due. It's easy to serve God when all that is going on. What about you need a job? What about you getting ready to be put out of your home? What about that you need this money to pay your work? What about? What about? The same God, we're talking about the same God when you build on the sure foundation, the same one that brought, brought you out last month. He gonna do it again. He gonna do it again. It ain't in the Bible. 
Bible, people say it's in the Bible. He may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. That is not in the Bible. That's not. That's a good saying. That's a good saying. He may not come and say, Lord, I need you to come at 1030. And at 11 o'clock, you're still praying. And you done forgot the people ain't called you. Ain't, ain't nothing that happened because he done already came and uh -huh. stepped into your situation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He might come at 11.59. I think my time is up. At 11.59. But he's always on time. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, now is a good time. You too, Facebook Live. If you strayed away, now is a good time to come back to him. Listen, it's a lot of places you can do U-turns here in Florida. They ain't got it in Ohio because you try that U-turn if you want to. <laughs> when I got here and I said, these people allow U-turns? God does too. He allows U-turns. And sometimes we get detoured and get off on the wrong track sometimes. But you know what? When one thing about a detour, if you're traveling on the expressway, you, you're, it's a detour, it says a detour here. One thing about a detour, once you get on the detour, it don't tell you you're still on the right road. It don't give you no signs. It don't give you no nothing. But when you built on that short foundation, God will always lead and guide you in every way. If you desire prayer, come. And if you don't, I'm going to pray over the house. Because I already know what God said he's going to do. Uh, it shall I see.